Hey guys, welcome to another plugin slash script review here in this channel. Now today we're going to have a look at a plugin by a good friend of mine called Luismi. He has created this really useful, simple plugins for all animators out there. He keeps creating more plugins, but I want to start with one of the first ones that he created that I absolutely loved called LM Locator, which basically makes your life much easier when it comes to animating with locators, which is something that I really enjoy. So let's get to it. All right, so here we are, um, another week, another video. So my name is Harvey Newman, for those that don't know me, and I like to review, in this case, plugins, and scripts for you guys that basically make your life a little bit easier when it comes to animating in Maya. Now, this uh, plugin uh, is incredibly simple to install. When you download it on the link below, you will see that you get a file with a drag and drop uh, install. You drag and drop this plugin and what you get is basically, see this locator here on the shelf? That is basically what you get. Super simple, no instructions. It looks very much like I don't know what to do, you don't have a UI, there's nothing going on, but it's for a good reason. So here I have like uh, three cubes because there's nothing much that, uh, that we need in order to demonstrate this. By the way, if you guys wanna know about this idea of animating with locators, definitely check out the video that I will link down in the description and also in the corners um, where I explain a little bit about how can you actually transfer animation from the rig, animated rig, to a locator to then clean up certain things or to track certain motions or to fix certain issues. So definitely look at that if you haven't seen that. Then once you've watched that, come back to this because this will make your life much easier when it comes to working with locators. So now what does this awesome rig do? It basically allows you to add locators. Now, um, for those that haven't seen any other video before, Maya doesn't really have an easy way for you to add locators, unfortunately. So if you want to create a locator normally, you have to go to create and then you have a locator here. Now, you can simplify that process by basically uh, pressing Control Shift when you're actually clicking this button and then you have a locator here in your shelf. Now, what happens is when you press this locator, the locator shows up in the middle of your grid. This is basically very useful, but very unuseful if you want to basically follow or snap into a pro into an object. At the moment, there is no tool that I know of that makes snapping one locator to a, an object very easy. So normally you have to rely on third party tools like this one in order to make that happen. Now, some of the tools out there allow you to basically select the parent, select the child, which in this case is the locator, and then click snap and then basically the locator is basically snapped at the origin of this cube here. But this tool makes it makes all of this process much easier because the only thing you have to do is basically select the object that you want and click it and then you have a locator already snapped to the pivot or origin of this object and it's basically one to one. Now at this point there's nothing you can do except for, for perhaps if you actually want like snap a weapon to a hand or snap uh, a weapon to a holster. This is incredibly useful. Now this rig goes a little bit further than that because instead of just allowing you to select the object, which is what most rigs or most plugins do out there, it allows you to then go into vertex, vertexes as well, and they basically uh, snap a pivot to a specific vertex. So it doesn't have to be the middle of the object. For example, if I select this vertex here and I click that that uh, plugin again, it kind of gives you a locator right there at the edge of the cube, which is really impressive if you ask me. Sometimes you actually want the locator to follow a specific part of the body instead of being just on uh, maybe a controller or in an object, you want to select a part of the body. Like sometimes if you have a piece of armor and the armor is on the shoulder and the shoulder doesn't have anything for you to snap things to, this is really easy uh, and really useful because basically you can just go ahead and select a vertex within the rig or within the mesh and then basically snap a pivot to that 
vertex, right? And now we have a, a locator following that part of the body. And then you can snap anything into it, like, I know, a piece of armor or a weapon or whatever it is. So really, really useful. Now, Luismi didn't stop there. He made it even more clever. If you select a couple of vertices, now you actually have, see this widget right here is in the middle? Well, that's exactly what the what this plugin is now, right? If you actually were to actually click it, it gives you a locator in basically the halfway point between those two vertices. Um, so really, really useful for a number of reasons and all of those that actually animate lo with locators most likely are looking at this going, I can see how that would work. <laughs> now, uh, once again, Luis Me didn't stop there. He made it even more useful. Um, I did a video way back um, once again, talking about motion capture, how I clean motion capture. One of the things is basically how I use locators to help me uh, clean up motion capture. And one of the things that I normally do is get a locator to follow the motion so I can sometimes solve gimbal or I can sometimes um, get an arc of a, of a um, specific joint or a weapon to be tracked in an easy way and to be able to edit that tracking as easy as possible, right? And uh, Luis me made that uh, possible by basically same button, still no UI, which is really awesome. If you double click this, so if you click it once, you would just get a locator, but it doesn't move with the object. But if you click it twice, now you actually have the object and the locator moving together. So basically what happens is that that locator gets snapped into the origin of the object, just like you actually wanted before. And he actually now follows the motion or the keys of that uh, object one to one. Now, this is really fast, really useful for so many reasons. So if you actually think about somebody walking or somebody running, sometimes the wrist or the weapon needs to be kind of like um, snapped to a certain point or you want to like track the wrist as you are running, right? So if you actually select that wrist controller, double click on this, now you have a, con a locator that is tracking the wrist. Then you can do whatever you want, such as putting weapons on the hand and then say weapon track to the locator, good times, right? Um, or if you actually want to swap hands, for example, now you actually want the weapon to be in a specific place. You will also do a, add a locator there because there's nothing else to actually kind of like put in the, in the hand, get the locator to track the hand, and then you can put a weapon to track the locator, right? So there's lots of stuff that you can do with this. Locators are definitely your best friend when it comes to animation. Get used to them. And if you do, then use a tool like Louis Mee's LM Locator because it will make your life easier when it comes to um, getting a pivot point of a certain object, creating locators, and it saves you a bunch of clicks. So you can just get on with animation, which is exactly what I like to do. So I hope this was useful. Now, thanks very much for my Patreons to support me here every single month in this channel. If you're interested to know more about my Patreon, my perks, go ahead, head over, check it out. And if you like it, then consider maybe becoming a Patreon, supporting the channel, because every single penny that I make goes back into this channel to make it better every single week for all of you. And that's all I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next week, stay well, stay safe. Peace.